Welcome to another video of what PLS video series. Okay, so how to look for our model fit indices. For that, once you have run your model, you will go back to this main window. And here we are going to go to this explore window and explore additional coefficients and indices. And here you will have to uh, make sure that you are on this side and it is saying that model fit and um, quality indices. And again, one of the best things about Warp PLS is that it gives you your values of the model of your SAM analysis. And at the same time, it gives you the threshold values. For example, uh, the classic indices cover the average path coefficient, which is 0 0.354 and it is uh, significant, which is fine. Average R squared is fine, it is significant. Then average adjusted R squared is also fine. And here if you look at these VIF values of your model, it is saying it is 1.162, but at the same time it is saying that if they are less than 3.3, .3, it is ideal. So it is less than 3.3. Uh, then we have the full collinearity that is 1.466 and it is also less than 0.33. Then we have the GOF values which uh, is equal to 0 0.380 and the thresholds are that it should be greater than 0 0.1. If it, uh, if it is greater than 0 0.1, we'll consider it a small value. For medium, uh, 0.25 and for large, uh, it should be greater than 0 0.38 and in our case it is uh, showing uh, large values and then we have some SPR that is 0 0.750 acceptable if it is above 0.7 ideal if it is 1 we have this uh, in the acceptable range and then R squared correlations are saying that 0 0.982 ideally they should be 1 but they are acceptable if, if they are uh, more than 0.9 which is fine and then we have uh, this value which is equal to 1 and it is saying that it should be greater than 0 0.7 and then these values and some of the other uh, additional indices are here which is standardized root mean square residual which is 0 0.124 now this should have been uh, less than 0 0.1 so that means there's a problem uh, here but the rest of the values, for example, SMAR 0 0.075, it should be less than or equal to 0 0.1, which is fine. And then we have the uh, standard chi-square, and this is also significant, standardized threshold difference count ratio, which is 0 0.936. It should be greater than 0 0.7, and we are fine with this one. 0 0.678 it should be now here again we have some problem so this is how this table is going to give you the model fitness of uh, your results thank you very much